How you doing? My name is Alan Rucker. I'm a registered nurse and a paramedic with over 20 years experience in the medical field. We're going to do a brief tutorial video on ST segment elevation versus ST segment depression. Now in the last video, the RNT phenomenon video, I spelled phenomenon wrong. Now I wasn't going to say anything. I wanted to see if you could see if I did spell it right and then you know you leave it in the comments if you caught it. All right. So every video we're going to leave something out to see if you could catch it. So hopefully you'll watch another video. All right. So let's get to this. A ST segment elevation. What you do, you're going to use the PR interval as your baseline of guiding you to see if the ST segment is higher or lower than it. All right. So in this ECG tracing, if you look, the PR interval is here. The ST segment is actually higher. So this tells you ST segment elevation. This is the easiest way to be able to tell if you're dealing with acute MI, right? Besides the troponin level, we look at the EKG. And if we see ST segment elevation, we think myocardial infarction, all right? So the PR interval here is lower than ST segment, which means we have ST segment elevation. Now in an ST segment depression, which tells you myocardial ischemia, what we do, we look the same way. We look at our baseline. This is our PR interval, right? And then the PR interval is lower because the ST segment is here. So it's lower. Okay? So if we dot it over, we will see that it's actually lower. So we have an ST segment depression, which is telling us myocardial ischemia. Okay? Let's do this one too. Because some people are like, oh, prove it. I don't believe you. So we do a dot across and we start seeing, right? It's elevated. All right? So. Basically, that's the gist of it. Use your PR interval as your baseline to establish if the ST segment is higher or if it's lower. All right? If the ST segment is lower, ST depression, myocardial ischemia. If the ST segment is elevated, then you have a myocardial infarction. Whether it's two small boxes, one millivolt versus two millivolts, the ST segment elevation is still an MI. All right? But the number of boxes can tell you basically if it's worse or not. But the basic just if the ST segment elevation is higher, no matter if it's two small boxes, one millivolt, versus four small boxes, two millivolts, still up MI. We treat it the same. All right? Thank you for watching. Watch the description box for any contact information. Take care.